Hello, hello, and welcome to my Fallout 4 weapon modding tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be covering getting a custom weapon from scratch into Fallout 4. So that's getting references, modeling the high and low, UV unwrapping, baking, texturing, setting up the mod in the creation kit, Nifscope, Elric, and all that jazz. Uh, I won't be showing every minute of development, but I will give a primer for each step and show everything you need to know in order to carry out the stages of development. This isn't really the kind of tutorial where you're going to be following along and sort of doing the same things that I do as I do them. Uh, the tutorial will be even longer than it already is. Uh, and anyway, the best way to learn once you know the tools and the methods is to figure it out yourself anyway. So this tutorial will assume that you're an intermediate at 3D art, uh, i.e. not an absolute beginner but you're essentially new to modding for Fallout 4. I'll still try and cover a few 3D things from a beginner's point of view, but I will be moving at a fair pace when it comes to the 3D stuff. So what programs will we be using? We'll of course be using the creation kit, which is how we create this sort of plugin, which uh, the end users of the mod are gonna be loading into their game, it's called an ESP is what we're going to be saving out. And we've also got 3ds Max, which is what I'm going to be using to model. I have seen Blender and Maya used uh, to varying success, but 3ds Max is, I'd say, the most compatible with the sort of, let's call it the official workflow, uh, because later on we're going to be using 3ds Max 2013 to actually export the, the they're called NIF files for the game to use. So I like to keep everything within 3ds Max, and I prefer 3ds Max anyway, so that's fine with me. Then we've got Bethesda Archive Extractor, which is, uh, you can download that from the Nexus, and that's going to help us actually extract the game files so we can, you know, study them, reference them, and even, uh, depending on what workflow you want to use, modify them and sort of uh, inject them back into the game. Got Elric, which helps us convert our NIF files later, as well as texture files into the correct format. So it's a sort of format converter that comes with the creation kit. Uh, Photoshop, everyone knows Photoshop. What we do need is the Intel Texture Works plugin, which you can download uh, for free off Google. You can find it, and that helps us also create the correct uh, texture format, which is known as DDS. Mumset Toolbag, this one's optional. It's a really good rendering program if you want to sort of render your work at the end of all this. Uh, but uh, it'll also, it's also a really good baker, really good. And I prefer it over Substance Painter, which is another program which you're going to be using to actually texture. So Marmoset's optional. I will show how to bake your models in Substance Painter if you don't want to pick up Marmoset, but I do recommend it. <laughs> and then we got Fallout 4 Edit, which is a community program which kind of functions similarly to the creation kit. It can open plugin files and sort of modify them. Uh, but I will be predominantly showing how to develop the mod in, uh, in the creation kit. And then we have ZBrush, which is a sort of sculpting program. And uh, I'll cover that in the art stage later. Okay, so right now I'm actually speaking after having recorded the entire tutorial. <laughs> so you might notice that in the next episode, the audio quality will kind of degrade and then after that it will improve as I was figuring out my audio setup uh, as I went. I did record this tutorial on the fly as I made the weapon so it definitely isn't one of those things where uh, I made the whole weapon and then I did it again while recording. <laughs> this is a, a first time through thing. So you get to see all my errors and mistakes too. <laughs> Uh, which ultimately is a good thing, as you might run into these same issues yourself, and I've shown how to fix or work around them. So with that, I hope you learn from and enjoy the tutorial. Let's get started. <laughs> 